Welcome to the production facility of the United States Botanic Garden. I'm Deputy Executive Director Dr. Susan Pell, and today we're going to talk about citrus. And specifically, I want to talk to you about flower structure in citrus and how it leads to the fruit and where the fruits develop, which part of the flowers the fruit develop from. So we can see that this flower has five white petals. It has a white column in the middle there that is made up of the stamens and a little protruding stigma. I'm going to switch to the macro lens and show you some more details of this flower. Here we can see that same flower, just much more up close. And this is the lighter yellow structure in the middle. That's the stigma that we saw earlier. That's where the pollen lands. And then just below it are these sort of darker yellow or light orange structures. Those are the anthers, which are part of the stamens. They bear the pollen and they're on long white stalks, which in this case are partially fused together to form a column around the long stalk of the female part of the flower, which is called the, the um, style there is the long stalk that I was referring to. The whole structure, of course, is the pistil in the middle, which is the female part of the flower. And I want to flip this flower over. Underneath the flower, we can see that it has a calyx. And this is the outermost part of the flower. And we're going to see this again in just a minute. I also want to show you a flower that's a little further along in its flowering. And it's already lost its already lost its petals and lost its column of stamens as well. Here it is. This is the just the female part and the calyx are remaining. So we've got at the tip there, that is the stigma. The long stalk is the style. And then the green bulbous structure at the bottom, that is the ovary. And then we have that remnant calyx. Here are the developing fruits on this tangelo citrus that we've been examining. And hopefully you can see the connection between these fruits and that immature ovary that we saw that was developing from that flower that had dropped its, its uh, corolla, its petals, and also its stamens. I also want to point out this little thing here at the bottom of the citrus, and you can see this in any citrus that you buy in the grocery store, you'll see a little scar, and that is the scar that is left from when the style falls off of the ovary. And this whole structure here is the ovary. In fact, that's what the fruit is. The fruit is always developed from the ovary. And then there is that little remnant calyx at the bottom where the, where the fruit is attached to the plant. Thank you for joining me today and I look forward to our future botanical adventures.